Yeah, man, guys, it's your boy Luo Jobe Mundise, the best, the greatest, amateur fashion gods, thread kings, <laughs> futuristic fashion niggas. That's you know what I'm saying? That's why I won't lie to you. My, 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 my cadence there was different. Yeah. But, guys, please, can you introduce yourselves, the two kings? Yo, man, it's 2K Future. I'm fan of 2K Uber to the Future, and I'm the best fashion designer in the game. Sure. <laughs> you feel me, brother? I'm Don Patron. Yes, yeah, sir. The hardest, the greatest. The hardest, the greatest. I'm moving with my guy, 2K. Guys, I don't like these guys have got the hardest, hardest brand out in the streets. They are in the streets, guys. Please tell our subscribers how you came up with it. The journey it's been from the threads till now, and everyone's rocking your shit. Everyone big is rocking your shit. Waffles in another country rocking the Alpha I was like, niggas, niggas. We outside for real. How's it been? Um, so I'd actually let you like don't tell you what happened. There's a crazy story. We're still in varsity. Please, please. Yo, shit. You want the full version, bro? Full version. It's super Go long, in. bro. Go in, don't you have to listen. Go in, don't worry about it. I'm like, <laughs> so this thing is genuinely based off like energy, bro. Like, I just told my guy, yo, vibe with me, let's go peace, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, easy. Um, we get to the spot, my guy, like, immediately, bro. Mm -hmm. Says, now, nah, poison you cap, and this is the one. I said, we have to run it out. How did you come? Right now. How bro. are you feeling when you talk it's to like, poison? How did you come? Like, I'm a fashion bro, so when I mm -hmm. see something, I'm like, hey, I'd rock that hard. Yeah. So, like, at the time, I was trying to get into, like, so I was already a fashion bro, but I wanted to get into making clothes, especially, but I didn't know the ropes, really. Oh. So he knew his way around the city, knew where to get everything. So when we met, like, the energy just Keep leaned together. towards, like, this makes something great. Mm -hmm. So immediately when I saw the piece, I was like, shit, it's actually, because... The brand name is actually his Instagram handle, his previous Instagram handle. So all he did was actually post his Instagram handle on a t-shirt like El Patron. I was like, hey, this shit is hard. I'm like, boys, then if we turn this shit into a brand right now, mm -hmm. we gone, for real. So gone. immediately, I made the same piece he made. He made a hoodie, I remember. Like, bro, same day, bro. On the you same day, on site. Like, I went to go time. get a hoodie immediately, got that shit printed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let's just peep the reactions when we get back to Rez see what it's like got back too many inquiries everybody's trying to get their own like yo i want the hoodie i want the hoodie yeah. i was like boys i told you <laughs> this the one, this the one. so demand. immediately we were just like let's run with it bro and mm -hmm. it's it's been a crazy journey since and with that i know there's probably been groupies and fun times but like focusing on the threads how you guys always because you guys are always on the next let's not lie yeah. the next design you're always on the next yeah. how'd you guys come up with that what creative process do you go in? Do you guys hibernate and be like, yo, dog, okay, let's shy J, let's work. How do you guys maneuver that creative process? Yo, shit, bro. Um, it's actually crazy, bro. We never plan. None happens. of it is planned. We bro. literally just go to the fabric store and just like, dog, what can we do next? I um, think it's a matter of not letting it, any of your ideas go to waste. Yes. Like we implement everything. Like I'll tell him like, today I probably passed him a few ideas. He probably passed me a few ideas. Mm -hmm. I know that the next time we probably at like the fabric store You're probably gonna be like oh remember when you mentioned that you wanted to do this or like let's 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 try it out like even today i made these pants and i was like it wasn't even planned we, he was getting tracksuit material to make like shorts or whatever mm -hmm. i was like hey it'd be crazy if we made like formal tracksuit pants mm -hmm. i was like okay yes and then immediately i bought material and I implemented it, and that's how we've been rocking since. Shut up, man. You guys are always on the move. You're on the move, bro. So I don't know, like, Ricky, what, is, what, the, what role has Ricky played in your lives and also the platform of Cotton Fest? Not just for artists, what does it do for creators, fashion designers, or everybody in the culture? How does it done for you on it? Ultimately, I feel like everybody deserves the platform to shine in whatever way yes. or form as far as creative, creativity is concerned, right? Yes, yeah. So... With Ricky, he always shared the energy that, yo, put the young guys on, make sure that they know what's going on, like, teach them the keys. So it's the energy we've shared amongst each other as a duo, mm -hmm. but then we also try to spread that energy amongst our friends who want to start brands. And I think you're obligated to, because you guys are in the position, you're the forefront. You understand? So it's like, we don't even feel like forefront, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. But like, we see like how the people catch inspiration from the pieces we make and we like, actually we onto something so each time we just try to spread the the culture of yo this is a dope kid doing dope shit but he can't afford a shirt right now mm -hmm. in the spirit of ricky he would have given him a shirt let him shine for that reason so it's like 
we just always try to, you know, uplift other people at the same time. Say like, 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 going with the slogan, bro, like, live like it, bro. Like, mm -hmm. always believe in the past, bro. You feel me? Yeah, if you nine, carry the status of a big boss, like bro. Live like it. Live like, like, bro. You feel live like, like it. And you know, you like can't be a bro. whack boss, bro. Ooh. They're giving you free game, nigga. You, feel you me? can't be a whack boss, bro. You have to live like it. So we have to share the love. We have to pass on what we've been taught by the previous generation. I mean, Ricky spread like big oh, love, love all the time. So it's like, even for us, like sometimes it's it's even like financially draining. But it's like this is culture, yeah. and tomorrow to it won't be about that five hundred that you didn't make that day because yeah. you gave it away. Nah, it's not about that five hundred. It's like. Two more people, three more people are gonna see it on that nigga and be like, yo, let me cop yeah. three t shirts and they, you make a, a one five and everyone's Bring happy. Back and keep pushing. So, my so, kings, I'm gonna get into three saucy, even two saucy questions for YouTube. I just wanna know what is your most embarrassing childhood or high school memory? You can Shit, actually, the crazy one is so you know, every time you always had like a service day, like yeah. I don't know, some yeah, five yeah, rent, ten rent yeah, days, five rent, ten yeah. rent days, whatever. The craziest thing is that like i always got the question though what are you wearing tomorrow is my sway sway all the girls are on me sway like people all knew the time. something was coming through. like i used to have people come up to me to say dog i'm coming to what see you, you tomorrow gonna like you're gonna be on something crazy bro my that's that's one crazy memory bro actually. shout out to the king <laughs> um crazy memory from high school mm -hmm. but you said it must be embarrassing it can be right? embarrassing you can say crazy either one um i could say maybe the craziest embarrassing thing that ever happened i think i was in like primary school like grade six mm -hmm. there's a rainy day right so you know like how all the kids run to the shelter and shit so i was the last man running you right wearing i was wearing toughies oh, yeah, I was and as i was about to turn into the sh shelter i slipped <laughs> the fuck out the whole scale fell on my face broke a tooth Hit the hola. I did replace my tooth. Shout out my nigga. Yeah. Shining, Shout out my nigga. Shining, <laughs> shining. But, yeah. but yo, that was crazy. Like standing out with a broken tooth and everyone's looking at me like, yo. I'm <laughs> like, Niggas shit. were dying, man. <laughs> niggas were dying, bro. Niggas yeah. didn't give me the time of day. They were like, yo, on your face. The, the roasting that You're a whack guy after that. Like, There's nothing you can do. in the rain. <laughs> but yeah, man, we up. <laughs> my niggas are up. No, fuck that shit. Niggas are up. So my second question, King, what, are, what is your toxic trait? That future shit that people complain about. What is that one toxic trait? I'm a really bad texter. Oh shit. Here we go again. Horrible. But creatives suck with communication. Why? Jeez. It's like you're so in your head mm -hmm. that social media and keeping up with like you just like trying to figure out like how can I go harder? And like people are asking you, oh, what's happening on Friday? You're like, hey, <laughs> I'll probably answer you on Saturday <laughs> or something. Yeah. So it's like, it's just how it's been the whole time. Just a bad, like horrible, ah. horrible. Okay, community. bro, it's the same thing. It's like, so bro, when you guys communicate with each other, who starts the chops? It's like, we always reach each phone, other. Uh, say less. Yeah, like one thing is like, I know my nigga's pinned up there, so I never miss his text, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the most important yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. You know most that, important thing, yeah. pin your partner but on your WhatsApp. Fact, Forget it. about your girlfriend. <laughs> pin the nigga that's gonna help you make, make money. Boys. Thank you. Me. So it's like, bro, besides that, <laughs> come yeah. on. Open my app, bro. If I don't see you, like, that's not new there on top. It's like, yeah, it's like, I Right, so Kings, I'm a, I'm a it brings us to the end of our interview. Yo, this is the El Patron Boys. Shout out to Basic Boys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Buy some of her clothes. It's lit. Yeah, we out here. We out here. El Patron Boys. Yeah, we're moving. Cuz. We're taking it to the top. Yeah, it's like, Cuz. What's up, Cuz? Oh, my God, Cuz. How you gonna say that, Cuz? Come on, Cuz. We plus out here. You feel me? Um, shout out Basic. Basic one time. Basic where, yeah, shout out basically one time, Hardy. 